I'm gonna try to cheat the sunlight here, but today we're gonna install the tow hitch. This guy here, I bought it on eBay. I tried to buy from Lexus, but dude, it's, it's so much money. You don't wanna do that. So, I'm gonna install this on that car. As you see, we have bikes, we take bikes for a ride. Son has another bike, we go BMX. And we also have a dog. It's kind of hard to put everything together inside the car and I think a bike rack is going to be awesome. So you can buy one on eBay for around $100, 120 150 I don't quite remember but, but I'm going to put a link here in the description. Probably it will be Amazon so you know where it is. Uh, eBay I can guarantee that it's going to be there in a month. So but you feel free to uh, look whatever you want. It's going to be a simple installation. It has this hardware here which you're gonna see why this is for in a minute and those bolts in there we're gonna go under the car and the good thing about this is you don't need to uh, lift your car because you have enough space so you see here you have two bolts in there and here you have more so that's what we are going to use uh, to fit our situation in there we're gonna take this cover out of here Make our life easier and maybe cut a little hole here. I don't know yet what we're gonna do with this, but first let's take this out of the way. So we're gonna take one, two, three, four, I don't know if I count this one. Four and probably eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So probably ten bolts is gonna take all this off. We're gonna do it. All right, so I took one side out the other side is going to be the same, but as you see here, there's a couple clips. So to take those, you need a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to use these two here because this is actually to remove those things. Uh, but this is going to do what I need to do. So let's get this bottom one here. See this here? You have uh, four little spaces where you can put a flathead and pull it out. So this is going to have a little... Sometimes they break because they get brittle. But you have a little, it's almost like a little bolt. A little, uh, there you go. There you go. And when you pull it out, everything comes off. There you go. So basically, this middle part here pushes these sides, and these sides expand and go and get stuck in there. So get in there, twist. Yep. So technically, I just need to put this in there, pull it out, it's out. So, got it all. Oh, we have more bolts on inside. So if you look in there, uh, we will need to get in there. So let's get up in there. Uh, so apparently just a couple. And oh, two weird ones right here. Man, how much stuff! Apparently, it's just twist. So, I'm gonna keep doing this. I gotta use two hands though. All right, better is gonna die, but. And now you get those tabs here, pull them out, and it should be all out. There you go. Whoa. It's years and years and years of dust. Okay, this is the one that is important for you to see because this sucks. So you see it's all down, but and there's one, one stuck. And if you look here, inside, is right this guy here but I'm happy there's a piece of carpet in here so you gotta pull this carpet which is full of dust from years and years and years put your hand way up there you see my hand right here and you gotta do the same thing to take those clips out of the way all right you see here two bolts uh, there's a little lip in here I'm gonna try to do my best to capture a good picture for you, but 
if you don't have one of those, you might need a breaker bar. I might need a breaker bar anyway. Oh no, don't need it. Yep, so one. And two. I can see it. All right. So we got the two holes we need. Um, we have here the parts that came off and the OEM hardware. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We also need to see that there are three holes in there. So we go inside the car. Oh, no, car. We do the same thing. You see hole one, two, and the third one right there. Ah, uh, we start twisting that. And in my case, I don't have the patience. So, oh, it actually did not destroy it. Um, sorry, guys, my, my camera is so blurry. So, let's try. All right. So, this is a tricky part because we need to go. Um, from the inside and get over the exhaust and this is heavy so you might want to have your bolts ready uh, and be ready to wiggle this thing here around because look at that twists and turns uh, and we are there so I got it there I'm going to support that now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to put one bolt. Alright, so the other side, one bolt is in place. Now this side here, I'm going to put the center one, but it doesn't quite matter. Woo! There you go. Oh, wow. This might be a 19 millimeter from the kit. Oh, let me see. Yeah, look at that. So now I'm gonna take this. And four. There you go. Bad at all. <laughs> Woo! And this is how it looks underneath. It's pretty clean. Uh, it goes straight on the factory holes here and there. You just need to be sure you can move a little bit back and forth. Um, so you'll be sure that this is centered before you tie the bolts. Uh, those are 18 millimeters and the OEM are 17. So, I mean, you can choose. Those are pretty, pretty good ones. So I might use two factory ones on the sides and one of the ones that they sent to us uh, in the center. So, yeah, so that's gonna be my, my choice. Um, you can use the hardware that came with it, but I'm um, honestly this is definitely better than what it came so Yeah uh, Three bolts in here Bar is here steady and See it's very flush. So this is great and now All to the other side now if you get this thing here, I can kind of put it in there, but this center part won't go. Uh, this part here also is not going because it hits the bar. So they also say uh, to trim it. So we're gonna trim it. Alright, let's see how it fits. 
Okay, so this part goes in there. Uh, the bottom part gotta go first. It has some uh, something behind the wheel well. Then in here, as you see, I gotta put in here and the lip goes out and the tab pushes into the lip. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you when it gets closer to yours. Here, see this tab here? So the tab gotta go outside and the lip gotta kind of push inside it so we can uh, put the screw through. And two of those bolts up here you just push them you hear some noise and that's it uh, now two big bolts the biggest ones goes in here one on each side uh, if you use an impact wrench or something be sure to not don't tie the crap out of it because this is not supposed to uh, it's hard because it's not gonna hold a lot of load yeah there you go mine is not very strong so I'm fine but yeah hiding by hand is always better uh, that's good so we have all those 10 millimeters on this side here, the little tool, the little thing, you pull it out here and it goes right here so you push it in, See, take it out of the way here, push it in, we go find a way, there you go, when it's in you just put the little thing in there and push all the way and that's going to be pretty much all you need to do. So I'm gonna put the bolts back in place. Uh, this is pretty much what's gonna be. I mean, it's not interesting, nothing interesting now. This is how it looks, the final product. Look at that. It's pretty clean, you can't see anything. That's the part uh, we cut. And let's carry our bikes. I, uh, I've been postponing this. I have this in my office like for a month or two because I was too involved on this project here, um, which is my 2JZ, which is a Toyota Supra. This came from Lexus, but it's still a 2JZ. Uh, the Toyota Supra has a distributor here, so but it's the same engine, same people might argue. But if you want to argue, just comment on the, make a comment on the comment. If it's a nice comment, I'm gonna answer if you are rude i'm just going to ignore but comment anyway uh i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helps you every time i make a lexus video or a dodge ram or you know simple things i have lots of views so really 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 hope this helps you don't forget to subscribe it has a lot more to come i have a new car coming to the channel and you guys are gonna love that i'm not gonna give any clues right now i'm gonna let it happen first then I might not wait till it gets here, but uh, subscribe and hit the little bell button. Check out my website also www.carmodsgarage.com. I have some blog in there. I have some merch, uh, so it's pretty cool. I'll see you on the next video.